Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hi there everyone and welcome back to another lesson. In this video we will be learning how we can insert a search bar in Excel in order to search for any sort of name, data from a given list of names and worksheet. Let's get into how to do that. The very first step is that in order to insert a search bar, you need a developer tab, which you can see right here. In case you have Excel, which you have not been using a lot and you do not have it visible, so do not panic, do not worry. In order to enable this tab, you will right click on the ribbon and go to customize ribbon. As soon as you press customize ribbon, you will have this dialog box here. On the right hand side, under the main tab heading, you're going to see the option of developer. You have to ensure that it is check marked tick so that it is visible on the ribbon in Microsoft Excel. Once this is done, you're going to press OK and the job is done. The very important second step is using this developer tool. In order to insert a search bar just like this, in which I can type any name, let's say I type the name Ben inside, and then I deselect the cell, and you're going to see that all of the data, all of the rows which has the name Ben will be highlighted. Let me give you another example. I search, let's say the word Mark. You're going to see all of the joining dates, all of the rows which have that particular name are highlighted. This can quickly help you out in finding the data which you would take years or maybe a very long time to find. Now we're going to see how we're going to insert it. Here I have my data which is not conditioned, which is not formulated or there's no function in the basis of this certain data. The very first thing is I will go to insert tab. In insert, I will add shape. I particularly prefer adding a rectangle which is having rounded corners. In this case, I'm adding this one. The size of the search bar is entirely optional. The formatting is entirely optional. Whatever you want, you can do that. After I have inserted this particular box right here, I am going to go to the developer tab and then in the sections of controls, we have two different options. One is the insert, the other is design mode. We don't have to be in design mode yet. We'll first of all go to insert. After pressing, you see there are form controls and active X controls. In active X controls, there is a text box active X control. You will simply press it and you're going to see how your cursor has changed to a plus sign. Once you have this plus sign, you will drag and decide how large the text box you want to have. Once this is done, you will right click on this text box, go to its properties, and in here, the option is linked cell. Here you will link the cell in which the data has to be typed, and then it has to appear in this embedded search bar. So in this case, I will link a one cell, which is this one right here. Once I've done this, I am going to do something really amazing now. And that is, number one, first of all, exit out of the design mode. Then I'm going to go to home and I'm going to use conditional formatting in order to create the search bar. Usually search bar can also be created using the filter function, but in this case, I'm going to keep it really simple for you. So the very first thing is you select the data which you want to be searched for. Once you have selected the data, now we will go to conditional formatting, go to new rule. Now new rule actually helps you create different type of rules, novel or unique worksheets. So for that, I'm going to select the last option, which says use a formula to determine which cells to format. Here, I'm going to add equals to, type in search, open bracket, and here I'll add the cell reference which I want to link with my text box, the search box. In this case, when I coded or when I went to the properties of the search bar, I had selected A1. So I'll select the same followed by a comma. Now I will select only the headings of my data. In this case, the headings are the name and the date joined. Then I will remove the dollar signs which are behind the number and instead of the colon I'm going to add the and sign and then I am going to ensure that my formula is closed. Move to format. In format we will go to the tab of fill. In fill we have different colors you can select any one of them in order to color 
your particular row, which will highlight the name that you've searched in the search bar. So in order to make it more emphasizing, I will create a red search engine, you could call it, and click on OK. And once you do that, you're going to see that the whole data is colored red. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the name. Let's say I want to search Mr. Mark. And after doing that, I have to press on any cell. Once I do that, you're going to see the name Mark is highlighted as many times as it has appeared. Let me give it another try. I'll type Gibbs. Once I do that, you're going to see wherever the name of Gibbs will be, it will be highlighted. Let's have a third try to be sure. Jacob. And that's how you can see that in the whole list, Jacob, wherever it is present, it is highlighted. Now, can you see that there is this name repeating in the reference cell too? This looks a pretty odd thing in front of us. So what we simply can do is go to the option of font and simply color it white so that the reference cell does not show the data which is coded at the back. So that's how you can simply easily create a search bar which can effortlessly search any sort of data instantly. Remember, most of the times what happens is when we create a search bar and we enter, let's say the name Ben, and we are pressing enter, nothing happens. Remember, right here the search bar is selected you can click on any cell at any random place inside your Excel sheet and that certain function, that certain formatting will take its part. It will start functioning really well. So that was all how to insert search bar in Excel and effortlessly find out the names, find out the content which you want. In this case, what we can really do here is that we can search capital letters, we can search small letters, small caps, anything can work. So you don't have to worry of specifically typing in capital or small letters because if instead of search bar, I was using the find function and I'll have to take a lot of care of the capitalization, if it is in sentence form, if it is in caps lock, lowercase, I don't need to worry about that in search bar. I can simply go just type and find that particular name. That was all for this lesson. I hope it was really helpful. I was really excited creating this lesson for you people. I hope it helps you out. It helps you save a lot of time of yours in finding things out of hundreds and thousands of names. Thank you very much. See you in the next lesson. Goodbye. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.